Hello over there at Home Pro America. Kimberly here with Elite Roots Digital Marketing Agency. I reached out and spoke with Sahara a later part of last week, promising this short video, giving you some tips to help you increase your online traffic. Now, and I don't want to waste anyone's time, so at the end of this video, if you like what you've heard and would like further help with getting more leads for your business, then give me a call. If not, no harm, no foul. Please take these tips and just use them for yourself. Now, and if you could, the only thing that I do ask is just for a quick sentence or two of feedback on this video, either in the comments or as a response to the email that I sent you the link in. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'd like to go over is your website here. There's a few things that I really like. Um, I love that you have your click to call phone number right up here. That's perfect, leads to great quick conversions. Now, and as I scroll down, I did notice that you have this uh, this pop-up, which is great to have, but even better yet would to have it where it's visible right away. Even just a smaller form visible right away would be even better. But the fact that you do at least have that where it pops up, I love it. <laughs> so as I kind of scroll down a little bit further, the photos that you have here are great, great quality photos. Now, and the one thing that I do kind of see that you're missing is, you know, a little bit more content would be great. Um, Google really likes to see 1,500 or more words on a front page of a website. And I know, I know, it sounds like it'd be a lot and be really wordy, but it totally doesn't have to be. Um, a lot of designers, site designers, just don't know what to do with that much content, so they end up putting it in in a way that just doesn't look great and it does seem wordy, but it doesn't does not have to be. Um, the amount of content really matters a lot because, well, Google's algorithms just, they love content. Uh, content is king in Google's eyes. The more content you have also means the more keywords that you can actually get into your website. Keywords can even be plugged in and how an image is saved on your website. So right here you've got exterior remodels, which is great because that, you know, relates to exactly what this image is supposed to be for. But better yet, having something where it's an actual higher volume local keyword would be even better. And let me show you what I mean when I, I'm talking a higher volume local keyword. So over here I have a whole bunch of keywords kind of pulled up. So for that particular one you could do something like basement remodel Minneapolis. That's a, got a hundred, a volume of a hundred, which means a hundred people have searched that in any given month. So that would get you, you know, this particular keyword on your website one more time at least. Now, and all, all of these keywords are definitely all in the Minneapolis area. I always make sure that I'm providing keywords that are in that area. So like Minneapolis Deck Builders is a great one. I know you guys do a lot of decks. That's uh, actually what I saw the most reviews for on your Google business profile was deck building. So that's got a volume of 300. Great one to have on your site. So really, that's going to be the main thing that I have for you as far as your website goes, is just go out and get more unique, keyword-rich quality content um, and get that loaded onto your site. That's going to help you so much just on its own, getting those keywords out there that you want to be ranked for and making sure that you're trying to rank for those higher volume keywords is, is really going to be crucial for you. All right, so the next thing I'd like to talk to you about, and I touched on just briefly there, is actually your Google business profile. So if I plug in a search term here, Minneapolis Deck Builders, which I just told you is one of the higher uh, search volume words for the services that you provide, we see here the first thing that pulls up is usually a couple of ads that clear up here at the top. Um, but depending on time of day or each particular keyword sometimes you don't see any so the first thing that we're seeing today is actually this is called the Google map pack so in this map pack you see oh, we've got an ad there at the top typically it's only three businesses that you see in this map pack now and why it's so important to be at the top of this map pack is actually because these top three businesses steal away about 40 percent of the volume for this particular keyword and either phone calls or clicks into their website. So getting you into this top portion of this map pack is 
crucial to get you more leads for your business. Now, and how do you do that, you might be asking. Well, I have your your profile pulled up here. I love how, how much, uh, I believe it was Angie, is responding to these reviews. And you've got a pretty good uh, review base out here. 4.3 with 85 reviews is great. Keep pushing for more five-star reviews. That's, of course, going to continue to help you more and more as you continue to get more reviews. Your photos, uh, remember how I showed you over on your website that you can have your, your photos saved as a keyword? That is the exact same here. Get those photos saved as keywords when you're loading them into uh, to Google here. The last thing that really helps you build uh, your Google business profile and get you into the top three here is citations. Now, and what is a citation? A citation is actually a listing of your business exactly as you see it on your Google business profile in different directories across the web. Now, in a directory is a place like Yellow Pages, Yelp, Angie, Home Advisor. All of those are directories. Now, and how do you find more? Well, the easiest way is to actually go ahead and take a peek at what directories, what citations these top three businesses have, get into those exact same places, fill out and get into those directories, and then go out and search for even more. There's hundreds and hundreds of directories out there. You just have to find them. The last thing that I'd like to talk to you about actually has to do with this bottom portion of the search page. This is called the organic section of a Google search. And on top of your content and having those keywords as many times as you can on your website, backlinks are what give power to your site. The more power you have, the faster that you're going to get found for those keywords that you want to be found for on your site. Now, if we kind of take a peek, I know that you were a little bit of a uh, different case for me. You actually have more referring domains and backlinks than your competition. You've got 408 referring domains, giving you 965 backlinks, and that's got you ranking for uh, 2,800 keywords. However, when I click into these keywords and I tell it that I only want to look at Minneapolis, so keywords that contain the word Minneapolis. Those are going to be more local keywords. So we see here decking construction you're ranking for, but you're in position 12, so that's on the second page of Google. But that's near me, so that's a little harder to rank for, but great that you're on the second page there. Deck contractors Minneapolis, you're in position 11, again the second page. Second page, second page, third page. So as you see here, we're, you're really lacking on those keywords that are local to Minneapolis and trying to rank for those particular keywords. And, you know, I showed you that list earlier of different keywords that you can kind of try and go for. Um, deck builders, kitchen remodeling, um, home remodeling. All of these are great keywords to try and go for because they've got higher volume amounts. So if I kind of look at what keywords your competition is ranking for, if you see here, they've got position number one on a lot of these. And look, Minneapolis, 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 Minnesota, that, that's close enough. Uh, Minneapolis again down here. So that's really where they're beating you is just on their ranking of those particular keywords, which could be, you know, they have those keywords more times within their content on their website. Because if we actually jump back over to the strength of their website with their backlinks and referring domains, they actually have a lot fewer than you and a lot fewer keywords overall. But those keywords that they're, they are ranking for, they're ranking for in that top position. They're getting 557 traffic to their site just for ranking in those top positions for those keywords. We look over here how much traffic you're getting to your site. Let it load for just a moment. You are getting quite a few clicks to your site. So definitely something that you know you can kind of look into and, and go, okay, well, I'm getting a lot of clicks, but hey, I want to rank better for those keywords, the easiest way to do that is what we talked about very first in that content on your site. All right, so that's all I have for you um, in this quick video. If you'd like to know more on how I can help you grow your business and bring you new customers, please reach out and we can chat. If not, no big deal. Please enjoy these free tips I've given you.
And if you don't mind, please do give me some feedback on how I did in this video. It would be really greatly appreciated. And I hope you found this helpful, and thank you so, so much for watching. Talk to you soon.